Are you looking for a way to make passive income in 2023? If so, you may want to consider investing in silver ETFs. Silver is a precious metal that has been used as a form of currency and investment for centuries. It is also a popular investment for those looking to hedge against inflation. There are a number of different silver ETFs available, each with its own unique features and benefits. I'm going to go over the seven best silver ETFs to buy in 2023, and I'll also give you my thoughts on each one. Before we dive into the list, let's first understand what an ETF is. A dividend ETF is an exchange-traded fund that invests in a basket of stocks that pay dividends. Dividends are payments that companies make to their shareholders out of their profits. Dividend ETFs can be a good way to generate income from your investments, and they can also be a good way for investors to diversify their portfolios without having to purchase individual stocks. By investing in an ETF, you can gain exposure to a wide range of stocks, bonds, or other assets, depending on the fund's investment strategy. Why invest in dividend ETFs? There are a few reasons why you might want to invest in dividend ETFs. First, dividend ETFs can provide you with a steady stream of income. This can be helpful if you are retired or if you are looking to supplement your income. Second, dividend ETFs can help you to grow your wealth over time. When you invest in a dividend ETF, you are essentially buying a piece of a company that is paying out its profits to its shareholders. This can help you to grow your wealth over time, even if the stock market is not performing well. Third, dividend ETFs can help you to diversify your portfolio. By investing in a dividend ETF, you are investing in a basket of stocks, which can help to reduce your risk. Now let's take a closer look at the top seven dividend ETFs for passive income in 2023. Number one, iShares Silver Trust, SLV. SLV is the oldest and largest silver ETF with over $12 billion in assets under management. It tracks the price of silver by holding silver bullion in trust. SLV has a low expense ratio of 0.50%. This means that for every dollar one hundred invested in SLV, the investor will pay 50 cents in fees each year. SLV is a good option for investors who want a low-cost way to get exposure to the silver market. It is also a good option for investors who want to avoid the hassle of physically owning silver bullion. Number 2. Global X Silver Miners ETF, SIL. SIL is an ETF that invests in silver mining companies. It has over $1 billion in assets under management and an expense ratio of 0.65%. This means that for every dollar one hundred invested in SIL, the investor will pay 65 cents in fees each year. SIL can be a good option for investors who want to get exposure to the silver market through silver mining companies. However, it is important to note that SIL is a more volatile investment than SLV, as the price of silver mining stocks can be more volatile than the price of silver itself. Number 3. ETFMG Prime Junior Silver Miners Fund, SILJ. SILJ is an ETF that invests in small-cap silver mining companies. It has over $700 million in assets under management and an expense ratio of 0.69%. This means that for every dollar one hundred invested in SILJ, the investor will pay 69 cents in fees each year. Can be a good option for investors who want to get exposure to the silver market with higher risk and reward potential. However, it is important to note that SILJ is a more risky investment than SLV or SIL, as the price of small cap silver mining stocks can be more volatile than the price of silver itself. Number four. ProShares Ultra Silver, AGQ. AGQ is a leveraged ETF that seeks to deliver twice the daily return of the silver price. This means that for every 1% move in the silver price, AGQ will move 2%. AGQ is a good option for investors who are looking to bet on rising silver prices. However, it is important to note that AGQ is a very risky investment, as it can amplify losses as well as gains. Number 5. ProShares Ultra Short Silver, ZSL. ZSL is a leveraged ETF that seeks to deliver twice the inverse daily return of the silver price. This means that for every 1% move in the silver price, ZSL will move minus 2%. ZSL is a good option for investors who are looking to bet on falling silver prices. Number 6. 
Silver Wheaton Corp. SLW. SLW is a silver mining company that owns and operates silver mines around the world. It has a market capitalization of over $10 billion and a dividend yield of 1.2%. SLW is a good option for investors who want direct exposure to the silver market through a mining company. Number 7. Pan American Silver Corp. PAAS. PAAS is another silver mining company that owns and operates silver mines around the world. It has a market capitalization of over $5 billion and a dividend yield of 1.1%. PAAS is a good option for investors who want direct exposure to the silver market through a mining company. Now that we have gone through the list of the top 7 dividend ETFs for passive income in 2023, let's discuss some additional tips for investing in ETFs. First, it's important to have a diversify your portfolio. One of the most important things you can do when investing in ETFs is to diversify your portfolio. This means investing in a variety of ETFs that track different asset classes, sectors, and industries. By diversifying your portfolio, you can help to reduce your risk and protect your investment from losses. Second, consider the fees associated with the ETFs you're interested in. Another important factor to consider when investing in ETFs is the fees. ETFs are typically very low-cost investments, but there are some that have higher fees than others. It's important to compare the fees of different ETFs before you make a decision. Third, understand the underlying assets. When you invest in an ETF, you are actually investing in a basket of assets. It's important to understand the underlying assets of the ETF you are interested in. This will help you to determine if the ETF is a good fit for your investment goals and risk tolerance. Finally, regularly review and rebalance your portfolio. The performance of your ETFs will change over time. It's important to regularly review your portfolio and make adjustments as needed. This will help you to ensure that your portfolio is still aligned with your investment goals and risk tolerance. For example, if you have invested in an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and the stock market has taken a downturn, you may want to consider selling some of your shares and investing in other ETFs that are less exposed to the stock market. So, in conclusion, investing in ETFs can be a great way to generate passive income. However, it's important to do your research and understand the risks involved. By following the tips we discussed, you can help to reduce your risk and maximize your chances of success. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been helpful in your search for passive income in 2023. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and advice.